All right, what's up, DBW fam? So we got a very exciting video coming up for you guys today. We're at one of the newest food halls in Las Vegas, Chongdam. And today we're going to show you guys everything in this food hall. We're going to try out all the food. And they also have an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant called Smile Shanta, one of the biggest spots here. So let's go inside and check it out. Let's go. All right, my first time here, we're gonna give you guys the first impressions and do a little walk around, see what we got here. All right, so just entered the Changdam food hall. There's a couple places here, so let's check it out. Pretty nice, clean so far. So there's Ho Ho Crunch right here. The main food hall, it's pretty big. So there's Teddy Butter House right here. There's tacos by Carmen and Jose. There's Korea. And you could get all these Japanese goodies here as well. Not just the food. There's some high chew, some snacks, palky. All right, what's up, DVW fam? You guys know how we're gonna do on Dan vs. World. We're gonna try a little bit of everything at this food hall for you guys. Starting off with our first spot called Korea. There's a Japanese curry house, so we had to get the pork katsu curry right here. We got some add-ons, some ribeye steak with the curry, some scrambled eggs, and a tonkatsu ramen right here. One of their more, most popular ramen. There's a couple ramen dishes here, a couple katsu and curry dishes here, and we got some curry to sausage add-ons. But yeah, Chungdam Food Hall, there's about five stalls here, one being a dessert and one restaurant, so six in total. But yeah, so this is our first stop, the Korea house. So let's try the pork katsu out. So, Pork katsu is the number one seller right here. There's chicken katsu, that's more popular at Hawaiian places, but Japanese curry, I go with the pork. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and tender. You get a nice crisp from the katsu on the outside. And um, let's take some of the curry. You know what? Let's use a spoon and slurp up the curry right here. Got some rice. You gotta eat some of the curry with the rice. Mm. All right, guys. I'm super biased. I'm gonna get a lot of haters. There's so many, you know, when people think of curry, they think of, you know, Indian curry, but there's so much curry with, uh, you know, Asian cuisine. There's even a Vietnamese curry, for you guys didn't know, that's not a popular one. There's Thai curry. Japanese curry is one of my favorites. A little bit on the sweeter side rather than savory. And there's not, it's not too milky, which I like. I love Japanese curry. Mm-hmm. I know some of you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I think Japanese curry is my favorite curry. You get that sweet and savory. I like it even better than, you know, Indian curry, so. Yeah, so we got these scrambled egg add-ons to eat with some of the rice, some cherry tomatoes with the eggs. Oh man, great combo. You know, with Japanese food, they make such simple items like eggs, and you know, meat just tastes much better with, you know, a little pork cutlet. They bread it, put some crispy katsu on the outside. It's just super crispy, the breading. Woo! Mm hmm You would think like as a pork cutlet, you'd be like kind of dry, chewy, but no. It's almost as chewy as like a sausage. That's how soft it is. There's also chicken katsu, that's the more popular one. And you could get the ribeye steak with this curry too, so let's try that. This is their side order, but they have a full order with her as well. Let's try this out. You taste the grill on that ribeye. It's like a nice American ribeye steak, but with that curry sauce on it. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to go traditional, this is the way to go. But if you want some nice ribeye steak on curry, can't hate on this, you know. Ribeye steak is always a hit. This actually surprised me for the price. I've had pork katsu, you know, chicken katsu before. Other places might be a little bit pricey, but you get your bang for your buck here, guys, so. Mm. Also a Japanese curry, it's not too heavy either. I feel like I could eat, you know, a lot of it, but Indian curry sometimes, or maybe even Thai curry, could weigh me down with all the milk, coconut milk and all that, but. Man, I'm trying to not be biased because I love Japanese curry, but I have to give this dish like a 7.6 out of 10. Maybe the katsu could be a little bit crispier, but for the price, the portions and the taste, it's really good Japanese curry. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a really good date spot. I see a lot of couples around, families around, because 
There's so many different options and items here. Like if I want this, I mean, even when you're here, there's options at one spot, but if your friends want something else, you know, they could grab another dish and you guys don't have to fight to order or pick the restaurant. So really social place here at Changdong Food Hall. Mm -hmm. I'm a little biased with this. So I had to give this a 9.7 out of 10 for this chicken katsu right here. Great price, affordable, great portions and can't hate on it. All right, so when you're eating Japanese food, gotta get some Japanese drinks or some peach oolong tea right here. So it's a nice little drink imported straight from Japan right here. So let's try this out, salud. Ooh, not too sweet with a nice little peach flavor. That's how I like it, I don't like it super sweet. All right, we got some tonkatsu ramen right here. I really love Japanese udon. Let's try this out. So you know how to eat, you know, udon. You gotta slurp up the noodles right here. It's nice and slippery, thick. Mm. You guys hear that slurp? I order a medium, a little spice to it. Actually, I got a medium. A little kick to it for sure. Woo. You know how you do it when we eat udon, you gotta slurp it up. So listen to that ASMR, that slurp for you guys. Mm. Nice, thick, slippery. Udon noodles, I really like udon noodles. Let's try soup. Woo! It's an interesting broth. Um, it's tonkatsu, so I thought it would be kind of like a ramenish, you know, base, but it has like a kimchi pickled stew kind of um, broth. The pork right here. Let's try this out. Boiled egg right here. Fried tofu, I think adagashi tofu strips right here. So I give this a solid 7.8 out of 10. So I got these um, Urabuta sausage as an add-on. Let's try this out right here. Urabuta sausage. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of Chinese sausage, like the textures, like French on the outside, but it's like a like a grilled beef frank. Nice salty kick. Nothing too special, but with nice sausage, I love to eat it with rice to kind of calm down the flavors. Mmm. Let's see what else there is to eat at Changdam Food Hall. Let's go. Gotta eat this because it's melting right now. So this is their dessert shop, the Ho Ho Hunch right here. So I'm just gonna take this before it all melts. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Need I say more? I said nothing, but need I say more? Oh my goodness. So guys, you guys know I'm a sugar fiend. I love my desserts. But I also love Ube. Ube soft serve is amazing. Mm. I also love mochi, there's some mochi in here. The best thing about this is whole concoction right here. It's like four bucks or something like that, 4.5. So it's called Ho Ho Crunch and it specializes in Korean snacks and desserts. So this is a Korean dessert. So there's brown sugar pulp at the bottom. And for 4.25, I have to give this dessert 10 out of 10. I mean, for the price, you cannot hate on this. Mm. All right, so this is their main hitters right here. I got all three of them. It's called a hotok or something. It is a popular Korean street food that's essentially a sweet and savory pancake filled with a variety of flavors. I think this is the Nutella Crunch. Let's just try it out. Ooh, it's hot, it's warm. Oh man, wow. Okay, so this is a Oreo Nutella crumble right here. This is very unique, a hotok. It's the first time having a hotok a Korean sweet and savory pancake. I can't put my finger on it just yet. It reminds me of a lot of things. Ironically, it reminds me kind of like a pretzel. I don't know what it is, maybe the, the cinnamon on it, but it's not completely sweet. There's like this cakiness on top. And then when you bite into the cakiness, it's like, um, it's savory. And then uh, this, there's like some cinnamon, Oreo cinnamon -y. It's in there, kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon roll as well. And, um, uh, I got Ube and the original to try out later. All right, DVW fam, so that was our review here at Changdam Food Hall. Overall, great food hall. Had a lot of delicious food here. That's the thing about food halls. It's all about the options. Had a great selection of 
food here, mostly the Asian food here was my favorite. The curry house was a banger. And there's one restaurant here that's not like the rest of them. It's an all you could eat sushi place. So we're gonna do one full video trying out this all you could eat sushi called Smile Shata. But yeah, really cool spot would we'll definitely return. Really fun spot interior too, to, you know, bring your family or a date or something like that. Awesome place, so yeah. See you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us. And subscribe for more DBW food and travel vlogs. Deuces.